Hello programmers, welcome back. So today we'll be doing the series expansion of cos x. Now if you know the formula, the formula is your cos x, uh, the series start from 1 minus x square by 2 factorial plus x raised to 4 by 4 factorial minus x raised to 6 by 6 factorial. Now this, for, for, this is also an infinite series. Now the one thing that you need to note over here is that generally we considered a cos of a degree right a angle given in degree but in this case for this formula to work the x should be in radians now for those folks who don't know how to convert a degree to radian one degree is equal to pi by 180 radians so you need to remember this formula so now let's look at a formula that you need to remember now this formula states that one factorial or any numbers factorial into the next two numbers will give you the last numbers factorial that is 1 factorial into 2 into 3 will give you 3 factorial now if you remember from the previous video we did 1 factorial into 2 factorial sorry uh, 1 factorial into 2 will give you 2 factorial this is just an extension of that now for the uh, for those folks who did not watch the previous video you just have to remember this that any number say 67 factorial into the next two numbers that is 68 and 69 will result into the last numbers factorial that is 69 factorial now this we'll be using uh, in the algorithm so you need to know this now let's look at the algorithm first we start out our answer with one that is the first element in the series now then what we do is we create a temporary variable which has one in it and we need to multiply it by certain factor to get our first element that is minus x square by 2 factorial okay so what we do we multiply it by minus x square upon 1 into 2 okay so on multiplying this we get our next element and we need to add this element to our answer so after doing this the next thing we need is that plus x raised to 4 upon 4 factorial now if you see this if you multiply the temporary element with x square and we multiply it by 3 and 3 and 4 then you will get plus x square by 4 factorial right so we just have to increase this by 2 and this by 2 ok so let's do it so we did that now we'll multiply it to uh, this uh, temporary variable now this will get converted to x raised to 4 by 4 factorial and we'll add it to our answer now this process continues as long as you want but uh, a thing to note over here uh, if you if you watch the previous video we did something called as accuracy right now in this case after the third element the numbers because that is uh, x raised to 6 by 6 factorial the numbers here become sm so small that they are quite negligible so it will not change the accuracy so if you use an accuracy of 3 or even of 10 you will get almost the same answer so let's quickly jump into the code and finish off with this code so I just created a cos x dot c file and I just wrote down I included our stdio for input output and I just wrote down our void main so now the first thing that we need to do is that we need to know of what angle we need to find the cos of so cos of what angle do we need to find so we'll ask this from the user so we, pr uh, we print a message to the user saying enter the angle in degree now I'll declare a variable and I'll just take the input from the user okay so now that we have got our angle in degree now the first thing that we need to do is that for the formula to work is we need to convert this angle which is in degree into radians now if you remember 1 degree is equal to pi by 180 radians so if I say a 30 degree so we multiply 30 on both sides that is 30 degree will be equal to 30 pi upon 180 okay so we'll be using this formula to convert our angle which is in degree to radians so first let's declare a variable pi now I'll just define uh, this because this is a constant and it does not change so I'll just use hash define I'll write pi which is 3.1415 and it's recurring value so I'll just take uh, the l four last four significant uh, digits so now let's convert this angle into radians I declared a variable that is angle in radians which is equal to our angle in degree into pi divided by 180 
Now this is what the formula was, right? We multiply it by pi by 180 and we get, convert the angle which was in degree into radians. Okay, so now that we have converted our uh, angle from degrees to radian, the next thing we need to do is that we need to initialize our variables before we start repeating the uh, process. So first we need to start out our answer with one and our temporary variable with one. So let's do that. So after doing this, we will need to declare the accuracy that we want. So I just wrote down the accuracy to be 3. Now let's start our for loop. Now for this I'll be using i as the loop variable. So for i, our i will start from 1 and this will go till 2 times accuracy and increment this by 2. Now why did I increment this by 2 and also why is the 2 into accuracy over here. Now if you watch closely to the formula your power of x is increasing by 2 that's why I shifted our i from 2 and also you see the denominator this is also shifting by 2 so therefore I shifted this by 2 and also in this case the accuracy for the first element you see over here there is a power of 2 right for the second element it is 2 into 2, two that is 4 for the third element it is 3 into 2 which is 6 so that why uh, that's why I'm going till the index into 2 so I hope this is clear so now the first thing that we need to do is we need to update our temporary variable so the for we'll be using temp into minus 1 into our angle in radian square that is we'll multiply it again and we need to divide it by the two numbers right so in this case it will be i into i plus 1 now in this case I have used a lot of brackets over here now why did I use this brackets is for the precedence now if you don't supply these brackets the formula will be evaluated wrong by the compiler so these brackets are very much necessary this means that before dividing the whole thing first evaluate i into i plus 1 okay so this is why uh, that's why I used brackets so Please make efficient use of the brackets when you write a complex equation. This will save you a lot of time of your debugging because most of the time people forget to write the brackets and expect the result to be the way they want but it's not actually what they want. So after we have updated our temporary variable, let's add it to our answer. Now that we, now the f this for loop will successfully calculate our answer. So now let's print our answer. So I just wrote down a print statement saying cos of percent %f now this value will be supplied by our angle we'll put the angle in degree over here so cos of whatever angle that the user inputs in degrees is equal to our answer so let's compile and see if we if there are any errors so no errors so let's execute this program okay so it asks for an angle in degree now if you know then cos of 0 is 1 so the answer is 1 okay so this is right so let's try another value say cos of 90 degree I guess most of you know that cos of 90 degree is 0 so it is approximately 0 now if you change the accuracy you will get different answers over here as you increase the accuracy you will go towards more towards 0 so you can play around with this now so that's it for this tutorial so before I go off I I want you guys to try out this sin x series the expansion of sin x series now the formula is uh, what you see on your screen now this is also similar in this case just we start out from x instead of 1 which was in cos x and we increase the powers by 2 and also the the denominator is also increased by 2 so I hope you can uh, you try this program if you have any doubts please put it in the comment section uh, I, I'll uh, I'll be happy to help you now if you guys need any other program to be done based on this series uh, please do provide your suggestion we'll try to put the video as soon as possible if you like this video please do like it please do subscribe to our channel for more videos like this and also visit our blog that is we the computer guys dot com 
where we have the technical stuff and also we have started a new section where you can post your doubts and uh, we saw we provide you the code for your doubt so that's it for this tutorial thank you